Alright guys, what's up? My name is Cuban and I'm here today to teach you guys how to install Monkey Ball for the Sega Naomi. Alright guys, so first things first, please don't forget to show some love to Make a Champion. Please uh, go to his Reddit, I will be linking his account in the description. If it wasn't for Make a Champion, this video would not be possible and we would not be able to play Monkey Ball on the Sega Naomi. So please do show him some love, send him a message saying thank you, just anything helps because he deserves it. Give him a follow if you can, a anything is appreciated. So yeah, thank you very much, Make a Champion, you are appreciated. Alright guys, so on with the tutorial. So first things first, you're not really going to need anything, however though, if you do have Retro Arc already installed, it will greatly help a lot if you uninstall it for this tutorial because within because within the folders we're going to install it's already going to have RetroArch installed already for you and I'm not sure if that messes up with the process or anything so please if you guys already have RetroArch installed uninstall it like completely get it off your uh, computer just for this tutorial if you really want to play monkey ball that bad because I know I did so <laughs> alright let's get on with it guys so first things first, open up Google or Safari or wherever, actually no, what am I saying, Safari, Internet Explorer, Google, whatever browser you use, and visit the link I said I put in the description below, it's a Google Drive link, and once you're there, right here where it says Monkey Game Files, you want to click download on it, I already downloaded it, so if you guys want, pause the video until yours finished downloading, and when it does, get back to me. And it should be in your downloads folder. It should look something like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is you right click on it, you put extract all. Ninety-nine percent complete. So the file is completely it has been extracted. So now you have your zip file and then your unzipped one. This is the one we're gonna be working with, but just don't delete this one just in case. Just leave it how it is. Alright guys. So once that's installed, you should already have RetroArch by default on your computer. So just search up RetroArch. And it should pop up. It should. There it is, all right. So you go to apps, instead of all, you just go to apps and RetroArch will be there. It's hidden for some reason, but it's there. All right, so you're gonna wanna run that RetroArch. You're gonna wanna go where it says load content. You're gonna go to start directory, or you can go here, it's wherever you please. But I go start directory, I go to C. I go where it says users, owner, so you pretty much go to where this file is and that's in the downloads file and I'm pretty much that's where I'm going right now. So after I put owner, I go to downloads and it should be right here. Monkey game files. You click on that. You click on monkey game files. You click on Sega Naomi. And you click on monkeyball.zip. And then right here you click load archive. And voila! Here you go, Monkey Ball Naomi, baby! Sega. This is so sick. You guys have no idea how sick this is to me. Like, it took me a while to get this started. But yeah, it's real. It's real, it's here. And it's ready for you guys. It's waiting for you. We got level 1, level 2, and level 3. We're gonna go with, uh, why not? Level 3. Expert. And wow. And we got three options to choose from. We got Baby, we got I, I we got Mimi. I'm always, I always uh, go with Baby. I like how his smaller size allows me to see more of the map. So I will go with Baby. Alright. This is so sick. Look at this. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It actually plays a bit smoother. It's like more, I don't know how to say it. It has more weight. 
like it doesn't feel too light. It feels like the ball has more weight. Like you have more control of the ball. Yeah, dude, this is so sick. You have like way more control of the ball. It feels more heavy. It actually feels more like physics. It, it's it's way way better physics than Monkey Ball for the GameCube. I don't know why that is, but you can just control it way better. I don't know if it's something to do with the momentum. Whatever it is, it's just it's so sick. I like the movement on it. But yeah, guys, um, that was the tutorial on how to install Monkey Ball, the Naomi version. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And please don't forget, again, to please show some love to make a champion. Because if it wasn't for him, this video would not be possible. So thank you again, champ. And thank you guys for tuning in. Much love. Peace out.